Compassion is understanding the troubles of others. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Dave Brannon. Dave writes, Seven of us were attending a musical production at a crowded amusement park. Wanting to sit together, we tried to squeeze into one row. But as we did, a woman rushed between us. My wife mentioned to her that we wanted to stay together, but the woman quickly said, Too bad, as she and her two companions pushed on into the row. As three of us sat one row behind the other four, my wife, Sue, noticed that the woman had an adult with her who appeared to have special needs. She had been trying to keep her little group together so she could take care of her friend. Suddenly, our irritation faded. Sue said, Imagine how tough things are for her in a crowded place like this. Yes, perhaps the woman did respond rudely, but we could respond with compassion rather than anger. Dave continues, Wherever we go, we will encounter people who need compassion. Perhaps these words from the Apostle Paul can help us view everyone around us in a different light. As people who need the gentle touch of grace. As God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. He also suggests that we bear with each other and forgive one another. As we show compassion, we will be pointing others to the one who poured out his heart of grace and compassion on us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. That's today's scripture reading from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Let's pray. Your compassions never fail, Father. May we mirror your heart by showing compassion to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.